Well, a New York State congressman is promising federal resources to help Chautauqua County's cold case investigators. Bronson Rasmussen joins us live from the newsroom with more on what New York Congressman Nick Langworthy is doing for the county sheriff's office. Bronson? Justin, earlier this week, the congressman toured the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office, highlighting many issues, including the staggering amount of cold cases plaguing our area. I think it's been a black eye on our community that we've got these unsolved murders and, and I really salute the sheriff for taking this head on. Um, and you know we're gonna see how we can effectively partner uh, with this office to find some resources. When advocating to support the cold case task force, the congressman touted his local connections. We have far too many uh, murders that have been committed in this community growing up here. I mean, you know, the names I saw on that board in that office are too familiar and too burned into memory from, you know, uh, uh, you know, living here and, and following the news when those murders took place and, and those families deserve justice. Chautauqua County Sheriff Jim Cotrone previously applied for federal funding to supply and add manpower to his cold case task force. In addition, the sheriff is looking for other federal benefits. Hopefully he can pull some strings, but we would love to see a 20 year retirement for our corrections officers, officers and our dispatchers. Um, the job that they do is no less important than the uh, job with the patrol officers that are out there. And, uh, um, they uh, struggle a lot of times with even the stress that they have to encounter. Now some of the notable cold cases in our area include 14 year old Patty Fairbanks who went missing in 1972. Corey Anderson, who has been missing since 2008, and Jamestown resident Yolanda Bindix, who was featured in a TV documentary in 2021. Reporting live in the newsroom, Bronson Rasson, WNY News Now.